Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, so just wanted to make a quick video on the 777 summoning event. Now, if you are a person like me who got attracted to this game because of the ads showing the 777 event, saying you will get 777 free summoning, um, and join the, uh, join the game just to find out that it's not what you expect, you'll probably be confused when you do your summons and you have to choose one one of the summonings out of what 19 of them so yep yeah, so i just want to make a video for those people who just joined the game it's probably more of a for a beginner than someone who is in the mid to late game or have a quite a bit of experience of the game so let's just go into the event now i want to say that we are in the round three my server in my server we are in round three so if you are a new person in a new a uh, new player in a new server you will probably be having round one so you will see we have day 60 um now before we go into this i want to say click on the search icon you will you will get the from this event you will only get these heroes now as as here these ones are not really that good you this ones really just do not matter you do not make your choice based on this nor this Never, no, not even these. You will probably have to uh, prioritize your choice based on the legendary heroes. Now, even though it says legendary heroes, there are some heroes in this pool that are better than the other ones. So, for example, Atropos here is probably the only hero in the game that is the most versatile in the entire game. You can use it with any team, anywhere, in any game mode because she gives you insane boost to attack for the for the whole team if you have eight star of her if you it is below eight star then you uh, you will get boost only to certain heroes so always always if you get atropos always try to get her okay as a beginner because you want to get her to eight star as soon as possible now the next uh, we will be working our way to the right and to the down so the next is Athena. Now Athena is not that bad, but because she's a dooms, it makes her a bit, you know, less, less prioritized. So you should not go for her unless you want to go, uh, for to make a dooms team, uh, for whatever reason you have in your mind. Next is Dorabella. Dorabella is not the best in the in the Ethereals, but just because she is an Ethereal. It makes her a good option. You should go for her if you get her. The next is Elbert. Elbert is not that bad. She is Aven he is Avengers. Um, if you do not have, you only want to get him if you do not have a better choice. The next is Ose. Now Ose is interesting because Ose is Mystifier. Mystifiers are good in the early game, but then they fall down um, in the mid to late game. Um, uh, um, the thing is. People go a lot for, in the early game, they go a lot for Valianters or Mystifiers. Mystifiers uh, are good against Valianters in the early game, but that's not the point. The point is, Ose, the only reason you want to get Ose is because she he is really, really useful in the Grace Room. There is no other hero in, in Mystifiers that does as much damage as him to the Grace Room bo uh, boss for mystifiers okay so you only want to get him for that if you do not have an osse just get him from here marine again you do not want to get him unless you want to build a, a dooms team next is ilun ilun is good she she does a lot of single target damage um almost always one shot the enemy she attacks so just get her if you do not have a better option Mystifier again, uh, we have um, Minotaur. Minotaur, only get him if you want to go for a Mystifier team or if you do not have a better option. Next is Marina. Marina is... Um, now, when I joined the game, Marina was not that good because... Well, Mar nothing changed to Marina, but just because Glorians was not that good at that time. Now, because uh, now we got a buff. Now, Glorians are the number one team in the entire game. So just because of that, Marina makes a good option for the early game. In the late game, Glo those who use Glorians will not use Marina. Okay, she does she does uh, stun damage. I don't know at what star you need 
to be so just just stuns the enemy three of them so she's a good option now again um we have another ethereal we have ellie ellie is ethereal so a good option but also she is a striker striker is a very good rune synergy so you get her if you um do not have a better option like tropos solomon is another good option she he does stone damage and tanks and healing and every uh, a lot of things um so a good option for avengers probably better than elber the next is persephone again in avengers persephone is a healer um a support hero who heals uh in the early game um people think like you need at least one support or one healer in your entire team but that's not the case you will get a lot of other um options to heal your team so she is probably in in the early game she is uh picked up a lot by players but not really that useful in the late game she is almost never used so the next one is again a glorian carola carola is not that good um you will almost never use her if you have another other heroes in the glorian team so just don't go for her if you don't want next is emily choose her if you want to go for mystifies otherwise not ashlyn um avoid you will never almost never use ashlyn and anubia anubia again avoid her she, even though she is ethereal she is probably never used you will have better options in ethereal tree so yep that is our breakdown so now let's see how we choose here we get our 190 summons i hope there was a way you can skip the the animation like this but let's just keep going we got solomon okay so not bad choice i need solomon one solomon copy to get him to nine stars so we might get solomon depending on what we get next athena i don't want athena i already have her at nine stars Now these ones are epic heroes so even though we're getting two of them is less worth than the legendary ones also i do not need also as well so carola nope i'm not getting her even though I might need her to just to get her to 90 stars but i'm not gonna go get her solomon is much better for me albert okay so now we got all this stuff now i can get the best for me here not athena because i already have her at nine stars not ose already nine stars kerala absolutely not so we only got five main choices we need we need to choose from Either I'm going to get Solomon or Albert. Which one should I get? Well, my Albert is... Now, I have decent damage in my in my Avengers team. I have Solomon. I have Valyrian at 9 stars. So, what I need is a tank or something to be in the front line. And what I would choose is Solomon because Solomon is really great at the front line. Albert, even though I might... I can get him to... If I get this copy, I will get him to 8 stars. But I don't need him because she is he is a damage dealer and I don't need more damage. So I will just go for this one. Okay. If you need more damage, go for Albert here. And you can also oh I haven't noticed this one before, but there is the best team. So you can get this stuff, this stuff. Uh I don't know. It's just game's recommendation. So we will go for Solomon. we get solomon now the rest of the things that you get for there i know i don't know the conversion rate exactly but they will all be converted to this summons like uh this what do you call this stuff shards shards you get they get converted into shards and you get these shards so the three star ones then the common heroes they will get converted to these the the, the rare ones into these 
and the other ones you get the epic ones so that was all for this video i hope you enjoyed hope this helps if you need any more uh, guidance please feel free to comment in the video and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching